Okay, here is the 75 watt ish Lux Spectralis modification using some um, RGB strips that have the RGB LEDs and the resistors all built into strips that can be extended to almost any length. So let's see what it looks like. There's white. Red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, or blue-green, violet, and here's a red-green color shifting mode, red, green, and blue cycling mode. Here's a seven color cycle mode. At this point the speed is not adjustable and the brightness is not adjustable. But they will be one day. Okay, here is a fast color wash. I'll put a little diffuser on there to get more of an idea of what it's going to look like once it reflects off a wall. And it's using a, a pseudo-random number generator to walk through different patterns. Um, so it should take a long time for the patterns to repeat. I don't know exactly how long, but not anything you, would, you should be able to uh, be able to tell by watching it. And then here's the same wash, but just a little bit slower. A little less frenetic. Same wash again, even slower. And then there's a really, really slow wash mode to where you would leave this on and you could leave the room and come back and there might be a little bit of a change, but you really don't see much of a change staring at it. Kind of like the hands of a clock. You know, it's moving, it's changing, but you really can't perceive it. This would be better um, if you want something more subtle, more subdued. But it does go through quite a few uh, ranges of colors. And another mode, which is sometimes referred to as executive mode standby, or off. It's really on, but it turned everything off and put the, uh, the chip into a super low power mode. So it consumes very little power. But as you can see, uh, there's two densities, uh, the higher density uh, assembly on the top and lower density assembly on the bottom, just depending on how much uh, light you need. Now these LEDs put out a great deal of light. Um, you don't want to look directly at them, uh, especially if you, when you're working with them, say, on a bench or something. Probably not so much of a problem if you've got them mounted up on the ceiling or, um, you know, indirect lighting applications. Uh, should be just fine. Okay, uh, let me know what you think. I'll uh, post more as I can. Thanks.